so till the last video we were working on the blog app and we created our home page like this where we added the profile screen and the home page screen all these thing we added but we had to work on the actual visit i mean we had to work on the profile page first then we will go on the home page to create a profile page we need to have a rest and a rest api endpoint first because when we open a profile screen if there is no data available for the user we had to first create a form like that that the user will enter the data of the name and all the other detail which will be needed on the profile screen and it will be sent back to the back end so after creating a profile data we need to show that data onto the this screen so to do that we have to first work on the, the rest api and we have to create a rest api endpoint for this profile page and uh, you know that to create a rest api endpoint we are using a node.js and express.js to create a rest api endpoint so the today agenda is we have to work on the endpoint creation for the profile page so let's go on that and create a endpoint for this profile page then we will connect that rest api endpoint to this profile page so let's go so to make the video lens shorter i wrote the all the thing but i will explain the each of the point why i were using this thing in detail so you will get to know that all this thing so if you remember that in the while creating a register endpoint for the user sign up we first created a user.model.js file a schema for the user that where we will store the username password and email all the detail which will be needed for creating a new user similar we will have to create a profile schema also so the name of the profile schema is the profile.model.js and i created the file under the models folder and in the schema first i imported the mongoose package then i created an instance of the mongoose.schema then here i am creating a schema of the profile you can see that we have a username field here also because with the help of username only we will find the profile data from the all the other profile data are stored from the database i mean the username is kind of primary key here for finding a data from the database then second thing is name and uh, the name is kind of string type the name of the user and the profession of the user just like i am a software developer and if the user is student or software developer or full stack developer or anything we have to get the data of the profession also so we can show this profession data onto the profile page of our blog app we need a dob right now we are storing the dob as a string then we need a title line like if you know about the linkedin or any platform in the first page we have a title line like full stack developer slash money stack developer like similar kind of thing we have in the title similarly we will store the title of the user over here then there is a about parameter so the about will be like a bio that we have in the facebook or linkedin or any kind of social network platform the last thing is image so i am not storing a image into the blob format i mean we are not storing a image and converting a image into the unicode format and storing into the database we will create a static folder and we will provide the url over here you will get to know about that in the coming next video that how we will store the image into the database and how we can create a url of that you are uh, of that image so this thing is the schema of the profile the second thing i am using over here is time stamp i will create a time stamp which the data will be sent to the backend and so at the time of creating a profile 
uh, profile data, I mean, I mean the profile screen, we will send the data to the backend. At the same time, the time stamp, I mean the time and date will be stored into the database that when the data is created. Then I'm exporting it so the profile.model.js file can be accessible to the all other file. Then I am created a profile.js file where we will write the all the endpoint related code. First, I imported the express dot uh, I imported the express framework over here, then I created a router instance over here, then I imported the profile schema over here, then the thing is we are using is middleware. So you know that I always told about that after the successfully login we are sending the token to the front end and to get the data or post the data to the back end we need a token and for that to verify the token on the back end side I created a middleware.js file which topic I already covered you can get the link of the video into the description or in the i corner that how we created this thing to recall the knowledge of yourself and this thing I imported over here so we use the check token over here and after successfully verifying a token we decoded the token and stored the token into the request.decoded parameter so with help of this, so with the help of this request dot decoded parameter, we will get back the username because at the time of signing we are providing our username and password, and with help of that only the token is generating. So after successfully de decoding the token, we will again get back that uh, username which sent by the user, and that username we can use over here so we don't have to provide a username onto the request dot body we will automatically decode the username from the token only and we have to provide the name profession dob and all these things into the request dot body we are not storing the image over here right now because if you see that in the image I set the image parameter as a default empty string because we have to create a first endpoint for the image and after that creating an endpoint we have to create a URL of the image that's a lengthy process I will cover that topic in the next coming video then we will provide the URL over here of the image just don't bother about that right now then we have to store the profile dot then we have to store this profile instance into the database with help of profile dot save we will store it then we have a den method and in the den method I am returning a response like profile successfully stored and if we get any error then I am sending a response with the status code of 400 and uh, with the error message and I exported the router over here the last thing we have to do is we have to import this uh, profile.js file onto the index.js file because we have to provide the path from the index.js file only just we did for the user.js I created a profile route variable for the path of the profile.js then I used the middleware app.huge where if the base name slash profile endpoint will be hit it then all the another endpoint will be searched inside the profile route.js file folder so this thing is done just we have to run the server and we have to test this thing so let's run the server and we will test it onto the postman so the, uh, the server is successfully hosted in the uh, MongoDB is successfully connected we just have to go on to the postman so for the testing we are using a postman so here I already wrote the endpoint this is our base URL like HTTP localhost till the 500 then we provided a endpoint for the profile and the 
endpoint for the storing a data into the backend. Here, just go on a body and select a raw. In the raw, we have to use the JSON. Here, we just have to provide the fill which we created, like we created a name, wrap it with the and the name will be dev stack and all the other detail like profession we created just write it here and profession is fully stack developer and all the other detail which we have right now like we have a dob or a title line all the other detail we have to write over here i will not write all the detail right now because if this thing will be successfully stored into the backend it means our rest api is working fine so title line will be just check and you know that we are using a token first i mean first we have to check the token and uh, after checking a token only it will store the data then we have to use the token first and how we will use the token so i already requested a token onto the login endpoint and i use the dev stack 06 username and password and i get the token from here so just copy this token and just go on the endpoint which we are currently working and inside the header we have a authorization header in the authorization header we have to pass the token before passing a token we have to write the bearer first then we will paste the token over here now if i will send this thing and if the rest api is perfectly working then we will get a response called message profile successfully stored let's check on the mongodb at last that it's successfully stored or not to do that let's go on to the browser here first we have a users collection which created during the sign in and sign up a user and if i will refresh the mongodb at last let's see the data is stored into the at last server or not So you can see that after hitting that REST API, a new collection is created. Into the new collection, let's see, we got our data. It's mean the all, it's mean the REST API which we created right now, it's successfully working. And the today agenda of the work is completed. The thing we left is the image URL. Uh, we will work on the image URL into next coming video but in the next video let's work on to the flutter blog app to create a UI for the profile page thank you all happy coding and please subscribe this channel to motivate me and grow this channel and be part of this channel please thank you and happy coding bye see you on the next video